Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel this evening. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. And we have one day before Candy Burris and the gang presents their new show for us to preview, to do a review on, and we can see how far Candy is going to climb from that endeavor. Okay, but we got to talk about a person that's still being thirsty out there. She don't want to play on a winning team. And if she's going to be a hot mess, she's going to do it in hot fashion. Okay? We are no other than talking about Portia Williams, y'all. We back on Portia. Not because we want to be, but she's commentary right now. Okay? And she ain't doing good for herself because she still wants to let a man build her up. And as loud as it's trying to be uh, voiced out to me. To tell her in the masses, get your own. You know how they say, God bless the child that got their own. Portia needs to get her own and stop trying to be a trophy wife, a wife that she thinks that uh, she needs to be in other in order to be relevant in our society. Okay, she likes that Hollywood life. She likes being an entertainer of some sorts, but right now she's trying to be a wife. I'm like, girl. Get yourself together. Know thyself before you try to emulate a spotlight of being a well-known, rich, influ influential wife, okay? Because you're failing miserably at it. And you need to start back at ground one. So we must celebrate. We must say cheers to the ones that are out there doing the darn thing. And hopefully you can learn from these two women that you desperately liked at one time. But then circumstances put you on at odds and on the fence about joining their team and being a part of a winning circle. Okay. Because right now you're just going around in circles baby girl. Portia Williams you're going around in circles and ain't headed nowhere. Now. Yes, you can see these two women. They've both been married before. One is still married because that's the way she chooses to have it. And she got an ironclad um, prenuptial agreement. So if he wanted to walk out of her life, he can. She's fine. She got two kids from him. And it's okay. It's all kosher. Kenya Moore, we done seen her and her so-called marriage with Mark Daly. It was a cringing, worthy note to not pick a man like that. So now we are looking at Portia. Calling herself, taking somebody else's man, husband at the time, granted. And I don't told her to child to make her some revenue, get a YouTube channel, okay? Candy have one. She making money on that. Everything Candy does, if it don't make her no money, she ain't got time for it, okay? It's like you talking wind in her ear and she don't like the wind vibration, okay? She like windfalls of money. And she knows how to invest well. But these YouTube streets aren't favoring you at all, Portia. They're saying you messy. And they got to come with the mess mess back at you, girl. It's time for you to wake up and smell the coffee. These two women are on a winning team. They're in a winning circle. You get that? You get my drill? Kenya Moore has her own hairline products. She's a producer. I think she's a play writer, artist as well. Or she does PSA um uh, type of broadcasting but she's doing the darn thing Portia what are you doing you trying to give us face and fashion or face and body I don't know you're in the wrong field baby you should have been a model other than trying to be an entertainer but again look at these two women versus you and Nene the trend of news is saying y'all are ass out okay Y'all need to get it together or leave it alone, okay? You don't want my loving, I'll be gone. But you, Bravo don't want your mess. That's why you both are gone. They can't put up with you. One, But hell, both of y'all got that fight of spirit. But Portia, you just get caught catching hands and shit. Nene, she does it behind closed doors. But both of y'all got that problem, that anger management with catching hands with folks, okay? And both of y'all want to... Pride yourselves as being actresses, but you're really not. You're entertainers, bullshit entertainers at that, because both of y'all are thirsty as hell. So that's why we got to lump y'all into the thirsty bucket section category, and we look at y'all as thirsty old season woman and young, soon to be old Susan mate. Y'all both check making each other and losing like hell. Kenya has and always will promote her business, her hairline products, okay? 
what are you giving to us, Portia? What are you giving to us? Because I don't really see Nikki here uh, where you should be advertising a whole lot of that. And like other Bertha said, you coming with the bullshit, okay? You just setting yourself up to miserably fail because you're banking on everything for a man to take care of you. Now, as we can see, out of all the housewives that have been displayed, few of them are, are not here. Lisa Wu and um, I think Kim Zosiak and Sh Deshaun Snow, but um, they're no longer there. And now you two are no longer there. And Candy is reigning. Okay, she's the golden goose, golden princess at Bravo Entertainment. And your demise came with that Bolo situation. You and Tanya was kind of tied up and Tanya got the hell on out of there because she didn't want that scenario to play on her and mess up her bag outside of Bravo. Okay? Tainting her in a sense. But you stayed there. You got even messier. And then you start stealing somebody else's husband. That we still have yet to let that go. We probably never will. <laughs> okay? It's just going to be one of them things you get to keep pulling out. Every reunion, just keep pulling out any time you do something crazy. Just keep pulling it out on your ass. And then it's really going to be really bad for you when Fallon actually brings out her tell-all book. And folks are going to be buying it. Okay, you know me. I'm a cheapo. I'm, I'm cheap. I might have to wait till it, you know, go, you know, go on sale like yours. I ain't going to say who it's going to fail miserably being in the $13 category. But it got to come down because I ain't trying to pay no $30 for nobody that I really don't watch or don't really have a fun favor of. I mean, she, she don't irk me the wrong way. It's just I'm really not like, checking for her. But anytime I want commentary and I can agree with or disagree with a cer certain situation, I will come in and talk about it. Okay? But right now, the two girls are flying high. And you and Nene are crashed and burned and burning on ground level at this point. And I got to do a video on Nene. Lord, how much they doing a reboot, y'all, on College Hill. It's supposed to be for uh, young people coming out of high school and going into college for the very first time. Or just attending college for the very first time in their younger adult age. Girl, they got Nene up there. <laughs> Nene, girl, up there trying to be a part um, I think it's Texas, uh, Houston, Texas. They're out at filming at this point. Yes, and I know it, when Kenya get a hold to it, she's going to like, how dreadful in her Dwight's voice. Okay. Oh, I was like, uh-uh, no, ma'am, no, sir, no, Lord. These ladies have hit rock bottom. And Portia is just sitting on somebody. Uh, well, she's just sitting on a payday that she thinks she got invested in Simon. But that's no longer the category. Okay. Why are two women standing and two women are gone? We didn't really need to see Cynthia. She's gone out to pastor. She needs to go and 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 do whatever she does being a seasoned woman. Okay. Um, but hey, the slimmings pickings are getting very slim. The only people that are doing something right now is Marlo. She has really solidified and taken Nene's place. They don't really need her back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I don't think she will ever come back. That's a door that is closed, locked, bolted, and don't never need to be touched again. Okay? So that's really a x86 idea. Nene don't need to really talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. She really need to just try to wean herself away from the whole idea of discussing it because they don't want her back they're not going to bring her back and it's just is what it is and with her doing college hill i don't know if y'all remember that it's supposed to be you know for a younger uh, audience and and just sh showing people how they uh get along being in their freshman year in college and how the different changes that have brought ha by going to school out of state has brought to them and making them grow up or they're still being silly and being homesick and need to go back. However, it's a college deal, but they're trying to bring Nene up in now. That's going to be a hot mess. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review it. Okay, but uh, yes, um, these women have definitely known each other for a while by interacting with each other on the show. But pressing forward, they are not inking any deals and they're looking as has been people and the main thing that i can't say about nini and portia they want everything given to them or well, they really think that the art of being in the industry that they're in they don't need to have any other skills okay we're gonna say well done um good charting and forge ahead for kenya and candy but for nini and uh portia if they want to stay in the business they need to go take acting lessons because what nini failed to believe um believe or, or what portia failed to realize is that they are not actresses okay anybody you and i can go on a reality show 
and give them ratchetness if we choose to. Or we can show them the epitome of black women and how do we get down in our business, handling our business and handling some short windfalls uh, on spot of how we would actually deal with it, okay? In a cultural way, in a professional way. We wouldn't be out here acting all willy-nilly and fighting and talking about folk. We could bring drama in the boardroom. We could say what we ain't going to do and what they need to go make them folks do and how it's going to turn out. See, that's what we need to see. Black women doing their darn thing. And it ain't always easy and it ain't always nice. And the decisions that you have to make when you're doing business with other people and trying to acquire things, sometimes it can get messy. That's the shit I want to look at. You know what I'm saying? And how you prevail through it. Because you're going to have some wins and you're going to have some losses. But then you got this recovery time. And see, that's what Nene and her age bracket should be really thinking about. Instead of who talking about who who lost what. Who's fooling what. what who fucking who. You know, all that kind of shit. We don't need to see that. So as loud as I'm going to speak it out and continue to speak it out, I expect them to do better. I'm telling them what they need to do. Go take acting classes. Go and, and, and understand the art. Learn the art. And then you could go on soap operas and act ratchet. But guess what? You got to learn lines. You got to read lines, learn them, and project them in whatever scene that's needing it to be brought in. But they want to be lazy. You know, Prince was not no lazy man. He knew how to play about, what, 12, 14, 15 instruments. And he composed, and he wrote, he produced. You can't get that same credit to um, Nene and Portia. They want everything. And that's why Prince said, I can't be played because he's educated. He done been there, done that, and moved on. But these women, such as Portia, such as Nene, they want to be spoon-fed. But then they want to show the public, they that boss bitch. They that bitch. No, you a bitch, okay? And you a dumb bitch at that. It's what you're displaying out here in these streets. Portia Williams and Nene Leakes. That is exactly what you're exploring yourselves to be. Now we can't we can't say Portia. Cause Portia wants a man to take care of her. She wants to dress up a man and play house. Okay. She wants them to she's giving them everything and all of her before she gets the title of its wife. Okay. That's not a good uh, thing to be setting out for your daughter to look at and emulate. That's piss poor parenting, okay? Living in a ma living with a man with a uh, a child, a young child is that the impression she may get? Oh, we're gonna have to pray, pray that Portia get her shit together, or Dennis come in and save the day and show uh, PJ what love is really about and how a woman really needs to be treated and not how her mother is emulating. But then again, she could have been uh, raised that way. Portia might have saw her mama doing the same damn thing, and she just. Picked up where her mama left off and gonna instill it into her daughter. Generation curses. That's just is what it is. When you recognize it, you try to do better. You try to resolve that issue so you can go forward and produce good fruit from a good tree. But as we can see, the tree is kind of tainted, and there you go. You have tainted fruit. But anyway, I see both of them. I see Nene and I see Portia, and they are piss poor individuals as women calling themselves bosses okay because if nini had an inkling a clue a resolution she would be over there making the lanethia lounge the hot spot to come for all celebrities even if she just had a celebrity weekend sometimes or a celebrity night and and advertise the hell out of it she has connections in the radio personality business she could promote her lounge where it will only track celebrities down here when they're in town. Because everybody who's a celebrity, I'm sure, even just no, no, no brand people such as myself. If I want to blow a couple of hundred, you know, in your establishment, then invite me in. Tell me why I should come to your establishment and uh, give you all my free time. All right. And then if I like it, I'm curious, I'm going to come and I'm going to make it rain. I'm going to eat up everything. I'm going to drink up everything to a certain degree. Okay, but I don't drink. So it'll probably be just, you know, the people that I got with me coming. They're going to be topping off everything. But that's a way to keep money, revenue streams going in. Cause she don't have swag anymore. I don't even think she invested real well. Her late husband tried to probably do make it do what it was but you know when you got more money being taken out through previously uh expenses that nene was trying to portray and keep up with the joneses 
probably left a very big dent and had no revenue sources where it was being filtered back in from all that is going out as far as that mansion she had and the upkeep of that if you see where i'm going now kenya moore she owns her home from what i understand which is a lucrative asset as well as candy burris what do portia own guys tell me i want to know i want to know do she really own the home she got her mama living in or not if so that's a blessing keep it portia don't lose it don't uh we call it second mortgage or anything like that because this man you fooling with seems like a scammer to me i'm just saying if love was there and love would kept y'all together and love is gonna make y'all get through uh and whether all these storms that you seem to be in at this time why haven't he married you why haven't he put that missus you don't need hollywood life you don't need somebody paying for your expenses to do what you need to do when y'all saying y'all happily in love you don't need Hollywood. You don't need Bravo. You don't need any white man, Jewish man, any man that got the money out there to throw you a bone to celebrate your love. No, your husband's supposed to be a millionaire, billionaire, zillionaire. That has yet to be determined on these YouTube streets. But the whole deal and thing about it, you need to be riding in first class in a window seat, baby girl. That's what you and Nene always portray y'all selves as. Y'all got it. Y'all living up. Uh, luxury life uh planning it out on your social media programs and drinking that uh top shelf champagne and, and nene with her trump checks her, she's a rich bitch what the hell you got going on now then nene because i'm gonna be on your ass pretty much on this other video i'm gonna do about you okay girl and hopefully it get to you and you take it for what it's worth meaning to straighten up and fly right as my mama used to always tell me when i was growing up and i was doing some crazy things out there in the street you know what i'm saying it wasn't illegal but it was some stupid shit i was doing but that's a video for another time and i was young and dumb and having fun okay i was in my 18 19 20 years old doing stuff but she mama recognized you know when her child was veering off the course and she had to you know put her finger down like you represent me you know you're a product of me so don't go out there making me look stupid through your actions. And I'm like, y'all understand that because I have a child now too. So I understand I can relate to what she was telling me when I was a young adult. Okay, still went behind the ears. All right. But it just is what it is. When you really want to learn from your mistakes, you learn, you move forward, and you don't make the same mistake again. Okay? Because you knew what it was back then when you made that mistake, how you felt, what you lost, or what you had to learn from that situation. Or you could take that situation and do the same shit over and over and over again. And then nobody's going to be sitting there trying to reprieve you, rebuck, rebuke you, and try to tell you anything because they're like you're a lost cause you're gonna do what you gotta do you keep making any mistakes you keep on making any mistakes you keep making a mistake you're gonna be in jail or you're gonna be in cemetery either or that's your life all right that ain't the hollywood life but it's so detrimental too for some of these people that get in here and have to do some small things with some big things for some small change or where you may be seeing it as some big change but it just is what it is and they finally get what they think they got they're the most miserable people when they take photos you can tell they ain't happy but they want that hollywood life they want that plush life but ain't everything that's good glitter ain't gold is what my mom used to say as well too y'all get down in these comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about uh porsche out there and nene out there sitting up there thinking they doing the darn thing and they ain't doing shit but digging more dirt to cover them when they fall out okay they digging their own grave and they just keep digging it keep digging it had it already dig six feet okay and that's burying stage they still out there digging 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 ain't going nowhere just in a circle just spinning around spinning around spinning around and don't know how to get out that vicious cycle well if they were to look at my video i gave them very good points to get out of their situation make lemons out of lemonade as her candy has been doing uh exceptionally well and um they're smiling they're doing their own thing and they're reserving resources for future endeavors but um nini and portia just can't seem to find that balance and try to understand what they're doing Okay, because they both seem to be in relationships. They ain't well, shit. The men is going to use them, use them up, and leave them high and dry. Okay, and their bank account's probably empty. Well, Portia ain't probably got no bank account uh, enough to speak of because she keep trying to cling on to this man and this theory that he's going to marry her. And Nene, we already know, 
she's probably going real fast through her money that she saved from um dumping that house because she knew she couldn't afford it she couldn't afford the upkeep okay so somebody recognized and told her the truth it wasn't because greg died in the house and she didn't want those memories how many of us have lived in houses where people have died family members that we grew up in hey we still go and we still celebrate all right it just is what it is and we move on we don't necessarily sell our homes we use it as profit we use it as an asset or uh, to leverage on something else that we might want in the future but no that's just a piss poor idea but you know some people can't handle um living in a house that people died in even though it's their um what do you call it um primary home or um youthful home that they grew up in and, and stuff of that nature and um uh, you know, just hear what I need. Nene can say whatever she want to say. It, it does, really doesn't matter at this point. But what we're trying to say, don't keep digging a hole for yourself. Get out. Enjoy your life. You got more years behind you than you have in front of you to be sitting down here worried about staying in this Hollywood life. When Hollywood life ain't for everybody. It ain't for the faint at heart. And if you ain't willing to do some large things, sacrificing your soul, this, then, and the third, you ain't going to make it. You are not going to make it in that life so you might well come on down do what the professional people do work hard do better and invest that's pretty much what you can do at this time nene because that's just a pure poor thing if i hear you over there at college hill or reboot and they talking about uh on the they're uh making the show on the premises of uh you never went to college but probably wanted to go damn you 54 55 years old what kind of shit is show that is for you girl what kind of shit is show is that for you you coming with the foolish fakery fuckery fraudulent shit always what's going on nene my fault else i had to bring them out on you because i don't understand you're doing too much you're just doing too much in my um birth of voice and we need you to straighten up and fly right Okay, and stop coming with this bullshit. Because it's showing how thirsty you are. It's showing that you really need money to even put yourself on a show like this. You damn near 55, 56 years old. And you going on a, a college show to, uh, to, for the whole premise of the show is to say why you never went to college. Or you wish you would have went to college. So this is your experience now. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? Girl, you need to be having Brent over in, in there. Doing his thing. That's something he need to be in. Because he's more closer to that uh, culture and age group. Than somebody uh, well seasoned as yourself. Talking about they wish they had went to college. And they want to know what it felt like. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? You don't set yourself to be a part of. Know that's desperation. And knowing you'll do anything for the dollar. You ain't a stripper no more Nene. And damn sure Porsche ain't no stripper. Okay. Because Dennis as quiet as he tried to keep it. On that Family Matters uh, show Porsche had. Dreadful at that. He said Porsche wasn't good and bad. She only knew one position. She ain't do that well. Damn. Okay, your ex, your ex-boyfriend leaked that shit out to us, Porsche. I ain't forget because I be sitting making notes. I be taking notes mentally and putting it on paper. So if I had to use it for commentary, I would bring it to you all and have it right. Okay, because y'all know y'all be checking me. And I like it when y'all check me. Y'all do it so nicely. Even though we have some intruders come in the house trying to break in. And they try to get me together, sew me together. When, girl, I done been there, done that, and moved on. Okay? But... Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this video. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.